Okay guys, here we go. Uh, this is the uh, EGT probe install for a third gen Cummins. This is a 2004 and a half Dodge 5.9 turbo diesel. And this is what we have here, the EAS expandable accessory thermocouple, otherwise known as your EGT probe. And I have it working in conjunction with the Edge CTS2 Insight ordered this EAS thermocouple from Diesel Power Products over in Eastern Washington. Great company, shout out to them. Good customer service, good products. Anyways, um, these are all available at your local O'Reilly's or Napa. Instructions say you wanna finish out drilling your hole with a 21 64th high speed steel drill bit. Obviously you don't wanna be drilling that hole at very high speed. This is the tap that you're going to use. 1 dash 27 NPT thread tap. And I didn't see any videos discussing this exact model on YouTube. So from what I found on the Cummins forums by some of the guys who've done lots of these installs, the performance installation companies, they recommend your hole to be tapped on the hot side of the turbo and the exhaust manifold, right where that red dot is, where I have that hole punched and tapped. You're gonna wanna start off slow with a small bit, work your way up incrementally. Do not use any cutting oil, anything of that sort. You wanna clean it as you go and I'm gonna go ahead and make that hole and tap it and kind of explain how the process worked for me based on uh, the instructions. Anyways, thanks. For those of you wondering how to position the drill um, to drill that manifold out, um, you can kind of see here I have one hand holding it, the other hand's holding my phone. Um, obviously I'd, I'd have two hands holding my drill um, so I can keep it square and solid. Um, another tip too, to keep from snapping drill bits, put the drill on a lower clutch setting. So if the, um, the edge of the drill bit grabs the manifold, instead of snapping the bit in the manifold, it'll spin the clutch on the drill. Um, also, you wanna periodically vacuum that hole out and keep it clean. Um, I've been doing this a couple times for each drill bit size. You wanna step up slowly. I started my pilot hole with an eight, eighth inch, and then I stepped up to a 3 16 and I think I'm on a quarter inch right now, and so forth. But make sure you keep the hole clean, and you keep that, that drill clutch setting on a low setting, and keep, that, keep everything squared up, and uh, it should go smoothly. So here's a shot of me on the 5 16 drill bit. And as you can see, the drill bit is ejecting the metal flake out of the hole. No cutting oil is needed because that'll cause the metal flakes to stick inside the manifold. And I'm doing this one-handed right now just to give you an example of how it's going. And I'll pull the bit out, we'll clean the bit off, Put it back in the hole once it's clean. Keep your drill bit clean. Keep your hole clean. Let's see here, we have the 1 8 27 NPT thread tap installed. And because the pipe tap wrench couldn't fit between the turbo, basically the turbo housing right here. I used two hands and the quarter inch drive ratchet to hold it square while pushing in and rotating clockwise slowly to cut the threads. And so you wanna go in about quarter inch so you have a good, um, you know, a few good threads cut and then you wanna back it slowly out 
So clockwise in, counterclockwise out to clean those threads up and cut them properly. All right, guys, our hole has been drilled and tapped. The thickness of that manifold wall looks to be about a quarter inch, just under maybe about 3 16 That's been cleaned out and vacuumed out, magnetized just to minimize any of the dust that may be in the exducer side of the turbo. And we're gonna go ahead and put this thermocouple sleeve for your EGT in that hole. And you're gonna do that, seat those threads in there very slowly, very carefully. It's like everything about this whole process is nice and easy, slow, no force. Just use good technique and keep things clean. And that's a 14 millimeter. Coat those threads with anti-seize. Look at that 14 millimeter on there. And that bow wraps it up. All right, so we're fired up. EGT gauge installed. I'll give you an idea of how quickly it reads the cylinder temperatures when you position it in that location between five and six. All right, that's what we like to see, man. It's ready to work hard. So basically, the EAS expandable system, the cable that comes with the EGT gauge plugs in to the side of the ODB two port cable, piggybacks off that. I could show you how I routed that cable. Ready to go to work.